Julia Roberts told reporters this week that her marriage to Lyle Lovett has been over for some time. The key moment, she said, came when she realized that she was Julia Roberts and that she was married to Lyle Lovett. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is Norm MacDonald with 25 of the best weekend update jokes ever. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Norm MacDonald with the 25 of the best Weekend update jokes. Hollywood prostitute Divine Brown has written a book describing in lurid detail exactly what she did with Hugh Grant. The book sells for $25, but for $35, she'll show you. <laughs> At the White House this week, President Clinton officially came out against same-sex marriages. What's more, the president said he is not too crazy about opposite-sex marriages either. <laughs> A new FBI study shows that for the first time, Americans are more likely to be killed by a stranger than a loved one or acquaintance. Their advice? Introduce yourself to as many people as possible. <laughs> The American Academy of Pediatrics has released an updated list of unsafe baby products. Topping the list this year is the really, 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 really high chair. <laughs> well, Dr. Jack Kevorkian was responsible for another death this week, this time a 58-year-old woman. She is the 26th of Kevorkian's patients to die since 1990. When are people going to realize he is not a good doctor? <laughs> Do not go to this man. The richest girl in the world, billionaire Athena Onassis, celebrated her 10th birthday this week. What's it like to be the richest girl in the world? Well, to give you some idea, at the party, they had two cakes. <laughs> A new hangover-free vodka is on the market. Yeah, the ads claim that the 80-proof vodka is so pure, it's virtually headache-free. But before you run out and buy it, remember, it causes massive anal bleeding. <laughs> Julia Roberts told reporters this week that her marriage to Lyle Lovett has been over for some time. The key moment, she said, came when she realized that she was Julia Roberts and that she was married to Lyle Lovett. Wow. The wow. results are in for 1995, and once again, Microsoft CEO Bill Gates is the richest man in America. Gates says that he is grateful for his huge financial success, but it still makes him sad when he looks around and sees other people who have any money whatsoever. <laughs> Anybody, eh? Anybody? In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, Hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. Oh. <laughs> and in music news, number one on the college charts this summer was Better Than Ezra. And at number two... Ezra. <laughs> According to a controversial new biography, Elizabeth Taylor likes her lovemaking loud, rough, and frequent. Coincidentally, that's also how she likes to eat. <laughs> well, it's official. 
There you go. Michael Jordan is leaving baseball to return to basketball. It is unclear whether the media will now refer to him by his old basketball nickname, Air Jordan, or his more recent baseball nickname, Senior Crappy. <laughs> in Walnut Creek, California, anyone who turns in his gun can get free therapy. And anyone who doesn't turn in his gun can get free anything. <laughs> Well, earlier this week, actor Marlon Brando met with Jewish leaders to apologize for comments he made on Larry King Live. Among them, that, quote, Hollywood is run by Jews. The Jewish leaders accepted the actor's apology and announced that Brando is now free to work again. <laughs> At Virginia Commonwealth University, a professor is being sued following revelations that he spanked one of his students. It was the student's parents who first became suspicious when they asked, what kind of marks are you getting? And she replied, big red ones on my ass. So... <laughs> Yippee, Jerry Rubin died last week. Oh, I'm sorry, that should read, uh, Yippee, Jerry Rubin died last week. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry. My mistake completely. Just, I didn't read it right. <laughs> Former First Lady Nancy Reagan reports that her husband has been relaxing at their ranch, riding horses and chopping wood. Sadly, eyewitnesses report that he was actually riding wood and chopping horses. <laughs> it was revealed this week that mass murderer Richard Speck, while serving a life term in prison, was videotaped with hormone-induced breasts, snorting cocaine, and having sex with a man. The film was apparently made with prison video equipment and a $300,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. <laughs> Dr. James Watts, a neurosurgeon who performed the first frontal lobotomy, died this week in Washington. If you recall, a lobotomy involves drilling holes in the skull and then inserting and rotating a knife to destroy brain cells. What a genius, he'll be missed. <laughs> world have ordered their ride the extra terror estriel to be shut down until it can be made scarier when the attraction reopens in two weeks it will be exactly the same but missing six bolts <laughs> last week during his latest trial on charges of assisted suicide dr. Jack Kevorkian startled a Michigan courtroom when he stood up and shouted this is a lynching Everyone turned to look, and sure enough, he just lynched some old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Kasparov tied Deep Blue, the IBM supercomputer, that can examine 200 million positions per second in the fourth game of their six-game series. Earlier in the week, Kasparov admitted he made a catastrophic blunder in game two when he failed to force a draw by moving Rook to E8. With all due respect to Mr. Kasparov, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> A French man who calls himself the Snake Man was arrested this week after climbing up the side of a Manhattan high-rise. Wow. Yep, he climbed right up the side of a high-rise. Just like a snake. In North Dakota this week, a hunter narrowly escaped death when a pocket knife in his breast pocket deflected a bullet shot by another hunter. Man, you know we have too many weapons in this country when people are getting shot in the knife. <laughs> and that's it. See you next week, folks. Here you have it, the best 25 weekend update jokes of all time with Norm Macdonald. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time, deuces.